And here we can see three corners. If we change the color, the green the color, to the brownish color, this is what we get. The original view of the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Of course, discovered in 2005. Ah. By myself. <laughs> Before that, for people, it was just a natural hill. But based on my experience with the pyramids around the world, I knew that Mother Nature cannot make this. Now, when I was looking at first time, what is regular geometry, the triangle? It comes to this line. So from here to the top is 220 meters. 220. Yes. The Great Pyramid of Egypt. 146. So the Bosnian, 725 feet. Egyptian, 450. That was in the beginning. But then, last year, we have applied the new technology. We go to second post. This technology is called the LIDAR technology. LIDAR. In the last few years, archaeological sites in Mexico, Guatemala, Belize, all scanned with the LIDAR technology. Also, Peru, Bolivia, Cambodia. These are the sites where there is a lot of greenery, a lot of forests. Well, the forest is a problem. You don't know what is below the forest. The LIDAR is a machine, laser machine, which is in the airplane. So airplane flies over the archaeological site several times. And it shoots laser rays. The laser rays go between the trees, between the branches, grane, between the leaves, and they hit the ground. So we know exactly how the ground looks like. So we can disregard the forest. We can disregard the houses. And here is the LIDAR photo of Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun. Scientific methods that are used in archaeology. The most common is called radiocarbon dating. Number two is called uranium thorium analysis. Thorium. Yes. And number three is luminescence method. We have applied 28 radiocarbon dating twelve uranium thorium analysis and seven luminescence analysis. There is no project in the world 
with more dating than approach. Nu există proiect în lume mai bine datat decât ăsta. The Cheops Pyramid or Khufu or Great Pyramid. Piramida lui Cheops. Only for dating. Patru datări are. And since the results were more than 4500 years, they stopped. So, our pyramids are covered by soil. The science that investigates the age of soil is called pedology. The Institute for Pedology from Sarajevo, Bosnia. Took samples from the Sun and the Moon pyramid. The age of the soil, 15,000 years. It means the structure below is much older. Our two young Italian archaeologists are two Italian Italian. Nicola Bisconti and Riccardo Brett. Nicola Bisconti and Riccardo Brett. They are with the volunteers removing the soil deci from the concrete blocks. And then on the top of the blocks, they discovered organic, this brownish material. It is on the top of the structure. It's going to give us a minimum age of the structure. We did radiocarbon dating. 24,800 years. Plus minus 200 years. So, we go back for 25,000 years. And this is the minimum age. If we could find organic material between the concrete blocks, we can get to the precise age.